I'm Jeff Fritz with Soundstage.com, and I'm joined today by Matt Riley. He is the head of business development for Cambridge Audio, the UK-based manufacturer of great high-end audio equipment. And uh, Matt, thanks for, for being here today. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited. And I just want to let everyone know why we're here. Cambridge Audio has lots of cool audio products, of course, and uh, any, any one of which would be the subject of a good interview. But we've got something a little different today. About a week ago, the uh, actually, as far as I know, the first prototype, actually working prototype of the DeLorean Alpha 5 electric vehicle was shown, I think, in California. And you guys were there, and it was basically announced that Cambridge Audio will be doing the sound system in the Alpha 5. And uh, so that's a, obviously just a really cool thing. So the first question that I have for you, just so that everybody's up to speed, tell us a little bit about what you know of the DeLorean Alpha 5 EV. Absolutely. And um, I had the distinct honor and pleasure of actually being at Monterey Car Week last week for the unveiling and launching of the Alpha 5. It was uh, surreal, to say the least, because you know there were, there were supercars and hypercars of, of all sorts of, of levels and, and, and beauty. It was staggering. Um, and just to be involved with DeLorean, to be at House of DeLorean on 17 mile drive in Pebble Beach, on this beautiful home overlooking the water, and to see this, I well, what I would consider this American icon of vehicles roll up the driveway after its release was amazing. Amazing. I bet. Yeah. The DeLorean Alpha 5, so it's a fully electric vehicle. I know that there were some images that came out in February, and this was actually the first time that a prototype vehicle, working prototype, we should say, uh, was was seen and experienced. So was what you saw in the Alpha 5, is that is it is it more concept car at this point, or is this actually what people are going to be buying? You know, I, I don't know when when it's actually going to launch, maybe a year, two years. Is this yeah. close to what people are actually going to be buying? So let me just toss a caveat out there just to be safe, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the audio guy. I'm not DeLorean. Right. So, so I'm going off of what I've been told and what I've seen and what I've read. Um, in all the you know news feeds and such, but it looks like there should be a launch about 2024 of the vehicle. Okay, uh, this was still in concept phase, but I it's probably pretty close to what you're going to see out there um, once it launches live and in, and in person. What DeLorean is doing is really interesting because yes, it's an EV model. Yes, it's beautiful. It, you know, it has its its traditional you know, gullwing doors, which is, you know, a, a signature for the original um, DMC-12. And again, it was just, it was fun to be there. Well, the next question I have for you, Cambridge Audio, um, you know, you guys are known for awesome home stereo components, of course. Uh, yeah. But but the car audio side, you know, I'm not real familiar with, with what Cambridge Audio has done there. And to be involved with DeLorean and the Alpha 5, what 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 caused that partnership? Can you tell us a little bit about the synergy between DeLorean and Cambridge Audio? Absolutely, absolutely. So we've been wanting to get into this space for a long time now, uh, but it really had to be the right partner for us. And DeLorean came about from you know our our marketing director Charlie Henderson has some connections within that industry. And one thing led to another. We had, we had conversations, and we were on a, a very we were on a synergy, if you will, to use a to use a buzzword, if you don't mind. Um, their approach to coming to market with the DeLorean is very similar to our approach of bringing audio to, to everybody out there. And as I mentioned, it's a, it's an EV car, right? It's it's a it's going to be a luxury supercar, but they're really going to, from what I can tell, be about connectivity. So when those going mm -hmm. doors go up, it's not just a sports car with a two seater. There's there's a back seat, so it's it's meant to be shared, just like music is, and that's our goal. Um, and they're conceptualizing really cool things to do internally with how audio and sound work with that model in, in particular, and that's what we're about as well. Uh, something that occurred to me this morning is 
you know, if you look at the DMC 12, right, you know, it's again, American icon back to the future, right? Just, it was a literal, well, a fictionalized literal time machine. Right. And that's what music is. You know, you, you, we, 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 we have turntables sitting back here. You put your record down and it takes you back in time or it takes you forward in time, depending on what you're listening to. And I think having this sort of connectivity music, um, and honestly, they liked us to quote, they, they thought we were like a little rebellious, kind of cool. And okay. uh, I'll take that all day long. So we think they're super cool too. And it just, it was very natural in that sense. Well, and, and, and you know, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. I think, you know, when I'm sitting here and I'm just thinking about some of the Cambridge audio products, you know, the Evo 150, we've actually got a review of that coming soon. Uh, another okay. article on it. And it's 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 got a couple of things that are you know uh, unique in the sense of the uh, the connectivity is great, and then there's a de a design conscious aspect to the product as well. And I think you know when you've got you know you you have to kind of put all the pieces together. Certainly in a product like yeah. that, but you know you're up in the ante significantly when you're going into something like you know, an EV supercar, it's, it's going to be about the sound. It's going to be about the connectivity. It's going to be about even the look is of, yeah. of what you can see from the audio system is yeah. going to be important. And so I can, I can see where that would, uh, that, that synergy, uh, would, would be the case. So the next question that I have, you know, just thinking about the alpha five. So first of all, it's an EV. And the first thing that comes to mind is you don't have the rumble of, uh, particularly of the of the you know it's not a a, a Lamborghini Huracan with a with a V10 right it's yeah. it's not going to have that roaring engine so the noise floor is going to be quieter it's going to be a quieter car particularly uh, when it's when it's at rest um, and then you you mentioned the gold wing doors as well so you know there's there's all of these different aspects you know of a physical the physical manifestation of a of a of a EV supercar that maybe hardly anyone has ever seen before when it comes to designing an audio system. What, what kind of thought process are going through the minds of the engineers and the designers at Cambridge Audio to approach such a, such a momentous task? Well, we're at, we're at a very fun stage right now because it's, it's early days. We're just getting this off the ground to understand what we can do physically. Uh, and when I say it's the fun stage, it's because we have all these ideas flowing of, oh, let's do this, let's do that. It's going to be amazing. And spending some time with the DeLorean crew who were just uh, gracious hosts to us, got along well, uh, speaking with their brand manager, you know, we were coming up with these ideas of like all these things, right? You know, put this here, do this, do that. And then when we got to speak to the engineer, uh, you know, it's a different, it's a different <laughs> game. He's like, no, we physically can't do that or we can't do this. So it's a matter of taking these conceptually um, ideas of, of connectivity and music. And again, like you said, there's no, it's, a, it's, it's an EV. So how do we take this experience and turn it into something emotional, emotive, right? Like when you see this new DeLorean, it's, Oh, I, 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 I want that. It's a nod to the past, but it's really looking forward to the future on aesthetic design, what it's going to do, how it's going to interact with your daily life. And you mentioned Evo. I think that ties in perfectly because you look at this, this box, right? Well, let's call it that for now. But again, it too is a time machine and it comes with these two sides that you can interchange magnetically between wood again, a nod to the past of traditional, you know, old school hi-fi that's retro that I'm a sucker for, um, and, or these, you know, black waved panels, which is a nod to the future, which is again, you know, my, my system is a mix of, of old and new. So Evo does that, DeLorean does that, and uh, we're excited to be part of this, this venture. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good point thinking about it. The, the DeLorean Alpha 5, you know, when I was looking at the images of it and just all the photos and there's there's a ton of them out there now that you can find. Yeah. And it's 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 not a typical it's not even a typical EV. Right. It's it's yeah. it's something more than that. It's something aspirational. 
Um, and, and I do have to ask you this, and, and I don't mean to put you on the spot here, but do you have any idea, was there any indication of what that car is going to start at as far as a, an MRS, MSRP in, in North America? Yeah, of course that could change. And again, just to caveat, I'm not the DeLorean you know, person, but I have read that it could be, um, you know what, I'll backtrack a little bit. I'm not positive, okay. but I, I guessing i have to guess above above 150 yeah and, and and that's that's kind of that's kind of what i thought uh you know it would be somewhere in that in that neighborhood at least starting so you know with that type of price point there's going to come the expectation that everything about it is amazing and and as it should be so yeah. you know it, it that that's got to be something that from a, a, a developing a sound system standpoint you know, you guys are really, um, you guys really have just this awesome task in front of you of making sure that the music that comes out of that sound system lives up to the materials on the interior, the performance aspects on the road, the just the overall experience of riding in and owning a vehicle like this. The sound system has to live up to that. So are you guys setting goals as far as like we want this system to uh, attain X amount of fidelity, or, you know, maybe it's even a finer point than that sound pressure levels and distortion and all of these things. Are you guys kind of setting benchmarks? Is that, is that maybe thought part of the thought process or is it just, we're going to put the best thing in this, the best sound system that we're physically and from an engineering standpoint capable of providing. And then wherever that ends up, that ends up. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we definitely want it to be the best. Who who doesn't? You know, every audio company is about sound performance, uh, but I think it goes deeper than that because you have to have. I think we know, you know, audio in general. It's this to me this great mix of dark arts and science coming together. Uh, so you you have to have the emotion. You know, music, it's, it's, it's primal, it's from the heart, it means something. So if you don't, regardless of what the specs are, if it's not doing that, I don't care about the specs. It doesn't matter to me. If it doesn't move me emotionally, why am I listening to it? So we have to set these goals and create this atmosphere, this energy, this um, emotive, emotional, musical experience, and then back that up with science. And make sure that everything that we're hearing scientifically matches that up. And I'm sure you well know, car interiors, it's a it's a challenge. You know, where do you where do you put the, you know, it's not like a two-channel system at home where you're if you have the room, you, you know, you back the speakers up off the wall three feet and you have this amazing sound stage. It's a tight, compact cabin, and you've got reflection points everywhere. So you have to play around with where do you put that? And if you put that there, does that affect the sound over here? So do you play with time delays? Do you focus it on uh, the driver only, or do you go full surround within the car itself? So many challenges, which is the, which is the exciting part, right? And we're starting, we're going to work with some great people to make, to make this happen. Yeah. You know, what, what you're saying there, it, it definitely resonates with me. You know, we're seeing more and more products that have the use of digital signal processing and yeah. and that 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 really you know can optimize sound for specific locations and you know so i yeah i would imagine that you know just the engineering behind a sound system like this it's going to be is going to be tremendously uh detailed and probably difficult at some points um as well <laughs> as, as as well as like you said designing drivers you know you're going to yeah. have to be able to move some air maybe without a lot of space right? To, yeah. to, to be able to, to put big drivers. If you want to move air in a, in a home stereo system, you know, if there's nothing like a 15 inch woofer to do that, except maybe an 18 inch woofer, right? But that's not yeah. going to be possible. I would imagine in a, in a, in a vehicle like this. So you guys are going to have to really play with the physics of, of, of how to do all of those things with the confined space. So, um, well, right. listen, to, go, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. You know, D DSP material science, physics, mechanical, you know, engineering, it's, it's all going to sort of be, be blended in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the last thing I want to put you on the spot with, so, uh, yeah. can you go ahead and 
confirm right now the availability of a review sample that will ship to me in 2024. <laughs> um, as soon as I get mine, I will drive to your house and I'll, go, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> no, that sounds like a deal. Well, listen, yeah. just to, to wrap up, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. I'm sure you had a great time. You know, it sounds a lot like work uh, being out at Pebble Beach at a supercar rally. Um, you know, I mean, how did you manage, Matt, really? was How was the food? Tell me that. Oh, well. I don't know. You know, champagne and caviar, it was oof, tough. tough. <laughs> anything but, that you want to say to wrap up about the DeLorean project or anything else with Cambridge that uh, that might be coming soon from you guys? Any, any parting uh, shots here? Yeah, absolutely. No, thanks, for, thanks for giving me the opportunity to say that. Um, again, just, just excited about DeLorean. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, Supercar Blondie, if you're familiar with her, she just did a video on the DeLorean while we were there talking about some really interesting stuff with a sense band. And I feel like there's some audio stuff we can do there as well. In the first two seconds, you might see me leering my head over in the video. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So make sure you check it out. Um, and with that, in terms of Cambridge Audio, like right now, we recently released two new turntables or Alva TTV2, which is a uh, direct drive moving coil, has built-in phono stage, uh, defeatable as well, and it has a built-in Aptex Bluetooth for all those late night jam sessions when you know your spouse might not want to hear you play Megadeth. Right. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that, and we also have our belt drive Alva ST as well uh, out now on the market, getting some good reviews, so feel free to check it out. We, we certainly appreciate it. Okay. Sounds good. Well, Matt, listen, I really appreciate the, uh, the information on the DeLorean and, and Cambridge audio. And, uh, you know, it sounds fantastic. And, and maybe, you know, what I'd love to do is maybe a year from now, uh, do another video like this and you guys can give us an update because I'm sure you'll be really yeah. much further along at that point. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I mean, are you hinting at getting back to the future? Oh yeah. I, I knew that was coming at some point, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm, I couldn't, I'm, glad, I'm glad you worked that in. You know, I was going to wear like the white lab coat for the interview. And I was like, you know what? That's it's that's not this kind of channel. You know, it sounds we don't we don't get quite that edgy. So glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. All right, Matt. Thanks so much. And uh, take care. Cool. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you, Jeff. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye.